So what is the prime mover of energy in our universe? I have shared this um, in several other pieces, such as my lectures on the science of sentience. And sentience is perception. And it is perception that is at the core of this prime mover. Now, what I'm about to share is an abstraction. An abstraction that some people may have a hard time grounding. But this is one of the most important abstractions we will ever face or come to understand in science. If the universe exists outside of the universe as we know it, in an infinite state, infinite state of existence, a static state, some might call this silence, or God, or creator, but it's a state of everything, all time, all space, all potentials of reality, and for the infinite to experience itself, to experience an aspect of itself, which is finite, it comes through this act, through perception. And perception is the compression of focus in that there's a balance, the infinite state is in a balanced state, in a pure equilibrium. And for it to focus on a specific part of itself requires the compression of its awareness onto a single finite aspect and the expansion of everything else. And so this relates to even quantum physics throwing out things such as infinitely large numbers and infinitely small numbers. The infinitely small numbers, easy to throw out. The infinitely large numbers, they don't know what to do with, and so they renormalize. Well, this is basically what the universe does every single moment of existence, is it focuses on one little thing, which is an infinitely small thing, but it expands its awareness on an infinitely everything else. And so, one way to describe this is through the number circle in vortex math, which is divided into nine parts. And so if we start counting this number circle, this number circle is the simplest division of our reality. The number circle is the boundary layer of a point, a point in space, a singularity. When you create a singularity, it creates a boundary layer between a finite something on the inside and the infinite something on the outside. Infinitely small, infinitely large. And that's really all something finite is, is something that's infinitely small. And when you create, the <coughs> create this boundary layer, there's nine qualitative aspects. So there's one way to look at it, is that there's nine qualitative aspects. This is more than just nine qualitative aspects, but there's nine fundamental qualitative aspects, is what I'm putting forth. And if you say count this number circle, one through nine, when we're counting it, we're putting our focus of our perception into a single number, one, and then two, and then three, and then four. That's the focus point. But the, compre the expansion is the other eight numbers. And so when we're counting this linear sequence, there's a focus of a single number and expansion of eight numbers. Compression and expansion. And I've said before, it's with this expansion where we forget the other eight numbers and remember only one number. The forgetting is forgetting something out of the process. Forgetting everything to understand or experience something is the whole reason this all exists. And when you create that compression and expansion of awareness, it creates a pressure wave in the physical manifold of reality, which is a longitudinal wave. That's what Tesla talks about. It's all compression and expansion. It's an information system. And so the only way we can truly start to understand physics is when we start to interweave the metaphysical concepts. When we start to understand physics purely as an information system instead of a substance system. The substance is information. Geometry is aspects of the infinite in a finite state 
relating to itself in different ways so it can see what it's made up out of, which is information. It's an infinite amount of information. And so when we can start to truly understand this concept I'm putting forth, which is an abstraction, it's a very powerful abstraction, we can really start to move into a new paradigm of science in terms of how we relate ourselves to all of this. The infinitely small to the infinitely large. And it's with that that we will start moving forward as a human race. When we start to concretely relate ourselves to our reality with something of substance, and that substance is consciousness the act of perception. And so, with that, this is the mechanism, this is the fundamental mechanism of energy. And it starts with pressure. And the pressure happens from perception within the system. And expansion and compression of that perception gives rise to longitudinal pressure waves in the system. And it's an information system. Now, if this seems a little too far out there for you, watch this video again. Listen to the language I'm using and how I'm connecting the language to itself to describe this aspect. It's a fundamental aspect because this is the information system. And right now, it's all equal. There's a little bit of vibration, but say we want to focus on one thing, focus on one color, we're like, oh, we have purple. We have compression of the purple. Well, it's a little less. Compression of the purple and expansion of everything else. But when we do that, we can create this vibration as we move between the colors and perceiving the different colors. So, now let's uh, expand from this perception right here back into your present moment, away from the computer. Bye.